Hi TK squad guys welcome back to another video hope you guys are doing well if you've not already make sure you subscribe like the video and leave a comment as well so you guys I'm here bouncing up and down on my pregnancy ball let me show you how it looks like it's huge you guys but yeah I got this recently to help with my pelvic because you all know I suffer from pelvic pain but anyway before we get into that you guys I'm officially on my maternity leave <laughs> oh you guys I've, I've been waiting to get onto my maternity leave like crazy you all know i went back to work when i started my second trimester that's when i went back to work i was feeling 50 percent at that time um prior i was suffering from hyperemesis but i quickly went back to work because i was losing my mind and i was tired of being at home i was tired of being sick i was i was just tired of looking at four walls so I went back to work and now I'm in my third trimester. I've been suffering with pelvic pain for the longest time. You guys, I started suffering from pelvic pain, I think the minute, throughout, throughout my pregnancy, to be fair, throughout my pregnancy, I think by the time I clocked 10 weeks, I was already starting to feel the pain. Um, but as weeks have gone on, it has gone worse. So uh, in the previous videos, I was telling you that, you know, I'm going to physio, physio, physio. So I was recommended to get the ball, to do some exercises on the ball. Um, if I'm sitting at home, instead of sitting on the chair or the sofa, basically sit on my ball, bounce up and down, um, do all sorts of exercises to help out. And you guys, it's working okay my pelvic pain was to the point where i could not walk i could not walk i was every time i had to sit down i would worry eating up again you guys ever since i started using this ball and the exercises that were recommended to me i'm good i'm good um once in a while i do get the pain where i'm like because i've sat for too long but once i get up and like make certain movements i'm good to go Whereas before, oh my god, it would take me half an hour to just leave the living room to go to the bedroom. I'll be in pain. I'll be holding on to walls, holding on to Graham or Tia. Like, it was nuts. But now I can say my pelvic pain that used to be 100 to 100 is now like 10%. So it's really working. The ball, I love the ball. I love the ball. And I can do other exercises, stretches, and things like that. So it's really, really good. And I've started my um, little workouts here and there. Not too much pressure. Not too. I don't overdo it to the point that I'm sweating or out of breath. You know, I just do little, not to tire myself out. And just keep my body moving. And obviously, on top of that, my dances. <laughs> TK squad yes I'm on my maternity now so I think that's also a good thing because it gives me time at home to really work on my pelvic floor muscles whereas before with work I wouldn't want to do certain things because I'm saving my energy for the next day to go to work that kind of a thing and then obviously that was also stressful having to rush every morning and yeah so I'm happy I'm on my maternity I'm gonna concentrate so much on my pelvic and um, basically getting ready for baby. So yeah, you guys, yesterday we had an appointment which, you know, we were scared thinking, what the hell is wrong with the baby because it was not moving. But today I'm feeling the movement, so he's all good. So you guys, I just wanna share with you some of the things that 
I got from um, my colleagues at work when they were saying bye to me, which was so emotional. I didn't record any of that because I don't want to invade anyone's privacy. And then, you guys, I want to give out a shout out to our members, Jorgen, Leticia, Mary, and BT. The username shows up as BT. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for uh, supporting us you guys have been members for over a month now i believe most of you anyway so thank you guys so 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 much for the continuous support tk squad also you guys as well thank you so much for the continuous support we truly truly appreciate you so you guys also at first we had talked about graham and i had decided not to do the baby registry anything of that sort but then later on we changed our minds and we did it but when i put the links up under our videos i, I like i stopped mentioning it like i've not mentioned it for a while but i just want to give out a shout out to sabrina right you guys sabrina was the, is the first one to order something from the baby registry for rainbow you guys and it came the other day and it was a signed <laughs> to rainbow now i don't know if you guys ever remember your very first letter coming through the post or your first ever package delivery coming through the post and it's assigned to you like it's your name it's not your parents name it's your name like the excitement of something arriving for you for the first time and opening it and do you know what i mean um so when graham found it he read it and he was like rainbow he brought it to me and he's like what's this so rainbow somebody ordered something for rainbow but who i didn't i didn't order anything for rainbow so we asked tia did you order something for your brother and you put his name i had completely forgot about the registry and she's like no so only to open it and obviously there's like a little paper saying a uh, rainbow from rainbow's registry um, but it was not assigned like nobody signed it so i was thinking what can this be from until we saw a comment on one of our videos sabrina saying that she was the first one to order something for rainbow and you guys that was so 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 sweet i remember the first time tia got her first ever package from amazon and it had her name on it and the excitement to open the box it was out of this world so when i saw something from rainbow i was like oh my god this is for like his first ever delivery um god let me not fall let me get up and grab it this is the other thing with this ball if you're not too careful you might end up on the floor Oof. all right we're back so yeah you guys rainbow got his first delivery from from his baby registry you guys and it's these little bamboo soft muslin washcloths actually i'll just open the package yeah you guys so it's the little bamboo soft muslin washcloths so sabrina thank you so 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 much thank you so much oh, the material is really good they're very very soft and so this is rainbow's first ever <laughs> oh my god first ever gift and delivery from amazon from a subscriber which is amazing sabrina thank you so 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 much any of you guys that want to get anything for rainbow just look in the description box there would be a link to the amazon registry you can decide on what you want to get him from that and then also you guys you can see this big box here of goodies guys this is what i got from my work this is what they gave me on my last day so this is everything everything baby now this one is from my friend my colleague at work as well because he knows i love lush and i love this soap and you guys i told you about this soap already it's called the massage bath um it's the one that i've been getting for to help out with the stretch marks and my dry skin even when graham gives me my massages once in a while uh, this is what we 
I use. So he went and he got me one as well. How cute, how nice, right? How nice is that, you guys? So he got me that. So this was from my colleague at work called Paul. Thank you. He knows I love my lash products because they really, really work. And then, you guys, so I'm going to open this with you. I hope you can see. It's quite cute. How cute is this? Look at that. Everybody at work contributed towards this. Hey. Bam! Actually, I'm gonna call Graham and see if he wants to see because this is the first time I'm opening it. So I'd like to show him as well. Babe, do you wanna come and see what we got? Because mm -hmm. I know this is your first time as well seeing it. Mm -hmm. Tia is still sleeping, you guys. No, but here. Alright. So they can see you. I think they can see you there. Yeah, yeah, I'll just set you up. TK Squad, can you see him? Hi, TK Squad. <laughs> I was just having some breakfast. Oh, you were eating? Well, uh, I was eating, but it's fine. Are you sure? I uh, know, it's cool. Okay. I hope you can see him, guys. Mm. Yeah, come forward. Oh, my goodness, this is amazing, isn't it? Right. So guys, everybody at my workplace, they contributed. So I can't say this is from this person. The, I, I know one thing is from the right path. I, I, maybe two things because my team, it's all boys or all men. Yeah. And it's just me and Linda. Yeah. So there's certain things I can see here that I can tell and say it's definitely her because they wouldn't think to get them. <laughs> That's true, yeah. No, no, they definitely wouldn't. Uh. They wouldn't think to get them. So I'll start with those. Disposable breast pads, just what you need. Guys, I got <laughs> disposable breast pads. I definitely need, need these ones because I started producing cholesterol. Cholesterol? Yeah. It's not called cholesterol. Col colostrum. Colostrum, perhaps. Colostrum, not cholesterol. Colostrum. You said that the way. Colostrum. Is it? I'm not sure. 100. percent It's colostrum. But I definitely know it's not cholesterol. But I think it's colostrum. Yeah. C O L O S T R U M. Okay. I think it's a really good attempt at spelling. I wouldn't have even gone there. Colostrum. Uh, <laughs> it's the first breast milk. Breast milk that comes out of you before you you give birth or before baby right. takes. Okay. Their first what do these pads male. do? do just some start? women produce sorry, but sorry, some sorry. women produce cholesterol before giving birth, and some don't until after birth. So these breast pads, I need them because obviously they just you stop you leaking on your yeah, clothes. Yeah, yeah right. Guys, yeah. I've been leaking every night, and I don't want. I didn't want to wear breast pads while I'm sleeping. A bra on while I'm sleeping. I don't like that. And totally. so yeah. most nights I do wake up when I'm leaking. But I think I'm gonna start using these. Yeah, so I've got my parts. first pack, which is so good. Actually, I can even put this in my. Um, and now I'm gonna use these now and see how they work. And for my hospital bag, I can add yeah. in another box. We need to get that organized. We've been seeing up. I know. We need to get that organized, right? I'll keep that safe. Right, next. Okay. What are these? Uh, seven C's pregnancy plus follow on during pregnancy and breastfeeding. So these are just vitamins. All right. So I can take them during pregnancy and then also after pregnancy while I'm breastfeeding. Right, and this is else. good. Yeah. yeah, and it's got the omegas, the folic acid. Right. Okay. So that's really really good. Okay. So everything else now is for pretty much baby. Is this a sippy cup? Sippy Would you cup, call this a sippy cup? Yeah. Yeah, it's a sippy cup. Yeah, I mean, I could probably use that as well. We are still drinks. <laughs> Guys, Rainbow's first sippy cup. Yeah. And it's from 12 months. So these are quite good actually. Yeah. Because I can see different months. Oh, I see, right. So yeah. it's right around. It's not like specifically to just but we'll probably, have to, we'll probably have to start feeding them before it's 12 months or but yeah. And then this one is six months plus. Oh, Alright, so that's cute. And it's blue as well. <laughs> oh 
my god that looks lovely tommy tip is a good brand you yeah. guys so oh, they pushed the boat out with this it's amazing i know right so oh, for a sippy cup these are things that we don't have to buy now oh my god and then this one is also six months plus what's that so it's plates oh, wow. in a shape of an apple all oh, right okay to his god how cute yeah. oh my god so this is from six months when he starts to try like solid foods okay that's oh, really nice oh we got a beep we got a beep as well oh we we're gonna buy one of those yeah. you're actually gonna buy one for me weren't you yeah <laughs> <laughs> guys <laughs> I, I like this one. Food, yeah, it catches everything. Oh my goodness. Um, no, but there's another one that I want to get that you can wear. What is it? Is it pretty much real? This one. That's this one. I guess right this day. Yeah, they can pull it. Ah, they see. can pull it, but there's one that you wear. Oh, there's another one here as well. So this is all when it pretty much starts to. Oh, that one's a bit more solid. To eat. <laughs> oh, that's a winning bit. I don't know what, what the difference that makes. And then we need spoons, it's got spoons as well. Oh, so nice. This is so nice. I mean, this is like it's. I mean, when it comes to like him going to solid foods, uh, uh, he, he, he's, he's well covered out. Yeah, he's got his starter pack. I mean, this is like amazing because this is exactly the stuff we would have had to have bought anyway. Yeah, isn't it? and then he's got his little bowls as well for like yogurt or mashed anything mashed or little cereal kind of thing going on yeah wow how cute and then oh two soothers from zero to six months right so we've got we've got them covered up to the first year yeah I don't know if I want them we're gonna use my those to be moment. fair TK squad see these yes they can come in handy yeah. you know to calm the baby down and things like that but I don't like using them because they say destroy the baby's teeth yeah. as, as they grow yeah and I don't want them to be so independent on this I mean I want to be able to talk to my baby but if you put these in their mouth then that kind of stops the communication mm. because at this stage it's all about like you know them trying to make sounds and things like that we'll see uh we'll see at 4 a.m one morning when he's having a temper tantrum along we talk to him before we stick one of these right <laughs> in his mouth we'll <laughs> see how it goes but it's not we're gonna try and not make it like a an everyday thing no of a card of teeth that, oh my god so this is when he starts to teeth yeah he just chews on that is it not too hard that's meant to be well it's kind of pliable isn't it so guys this is from three months plus so his first avocado teeth are. Is that because you know you love avocado? <laughs> I don't even know. But it's quite good, but why does he have this? I don't know, that could be an issue if that fell out really. No. But it's baby anyway, so I'm sure it's safe. Yeah. And then guys, last but not least, actually this too, but I like the fact that <laughs> Linda dressed him up. So guys, oh, rainbows first is this rainbow's first or second well, stuffed animal it's actually second because my sister bought one but yeah the little like, elephant this is certainly the biggest one he's yeah got, this yeah. is the biggest one guys <laughs> so he's got a bunny and he's got a little duck dress again right? as well yeah but this is separate this is actually from linda Oh, is that for him as well? No, yeah, this is for Rainbow. Ah, oh, right, right, right. So you've got a little robe. dressing gown as well, so right? Is, yeah, so Rainbow has a robe with a little... Ah, right, he's just duck. dressed, okay. She just dressed the bunny into the, the robe, but it's not attached, you can take it off. So this is for Rainbow. So this is Rainbow's first robe. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> and first... Cuddly toy. Yeah. Which will be bigger than him. It's God, it's gonna be bigger than him for, uh, for a while. For a while. We yeah. need to find a name for him. Yeah, what do you think about that? Um, but yeah, you guys, that's pretty much everything that I got from work, which is so nice. Yeah. Now these are things that we don't really have to worry about. Absolutely. Um, There's things that we would have needed, so it's really, really course, good. It's yeah. giving sort of the basic starter kit. If exactly. You like. Yeah, it's yeah. A, definitely a starter kit, and so yeah. we won't have to worry about none of that. Big shout out to Linda and the team. The, yes, the, guys. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. much. Yeah, no, we really, really appreciate it. Yeah. You know, so when you see this, honestly, we really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. How thank very you thoughtful. Guys. And those guys down there, you know, I love them a bit. You know, 
Yeah, they're amazing, <laughs> honestly. Thank They've you so much. They've taken care of me the entire time I was at work. Yes. Which was amazing. Yeah, that's true. And I would have loved to stay even longer if I didn't have the pelvic pain. You were only just a week short, darling. It was only a week. You could have stayed much longer. Yeah, it was only a week, but I feel like I could have pushed because you know how they say push and stay at work longer so you can get, you know, a longer maternity, if that makes sense. But you're, you're mixing holidays that you were due as well too, aren't you? So it's, it's kind of worked out for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I don't, 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 don't beat yourself up over that. You were only a week short, which is essentially... Was Battery died. <coughs> Babe, what were you saying? Uh, no, I was just saying, I don't, don't beat yourself up because you were uh, a week short. To be fair, it's only three, four days that you didn't work. I think you did really, really well. I've said that before. Uh, it's time for you to relax. And the kind of way things are just now, uh, you know, you, you, you need that time to yourself. And you don't really have that time to yourself because you're still doing a bit round about. But um, no, don't beat yourself up for missing three days of your of, uh, maternity. You know? Yeah, it's and I, bear in mind, I get a long time off to help you as well too. Yeah, yeah. Graham is gonna take off six weeks. Six weeks, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Thanks to my employer as well too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, TK squad. Um, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, that's me officially on maternity. So I'm gonna be I'll here at finish. home. Yeah, I'll let you finish the video off. I'm going back to finish my breakfast if that's okay. Yeah, that's See you fine. again, TK Squad. And thanks again, Linda and the team. We really appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. <laughs> I mean, how many uh, things of rainbow will I be cleaning? But anyway, I'm just going to take the time out to just relax. Really, really focus on my pelvic floor exercises. It's only been a few days um, since I started doing them. And already I feel amazing. Already I feel good. Energy levels, some days are better than others. I'm going to go back to the Amazon uh, registry and take off a few things that we've gotten. So that you guys don't end up buying what we already have. I still have baby brain, but I hope I've mentioned everything. TK squad, this is the following day, okay? So you guys, I was asking if I forgot something. And yes, of course I forgot something. One of the most important things that I actually wanted to tell you guys is exactly what I forgot to tell you. We were discussing about pelvic pain and how it's no longer severe, right? I still have it, but it's manageable. Like, it's okay. During my physio, I got a pregnancy belt, okay? So as well as the ball helping me, this has been a severe as well. The placenta previa scan, um, he was 4.7 pounds. So obviously now um, he's, on, he's only getting bigger and I can feel him, he's getting bigger. So the belt is helping to lift that heaviness off of me a bit and then I'm able to walk and I think also that's helping my uh, pelvic pain a lot. Let me know in the comment section if you ever got a pregnancy belt. I'll show you how you put it on. I'm not a master at this because I only got it as well, but I'll show you how I put it on. So I can only put it on um, when I'm going up for a walk like now. So this was perfect for me. It was perfect for me to actually come on now and show you guys. Um, I hope you can. Can you see me? If I step back, should I put it down a bit? Yeah, so I was given the belt. So this is only for when I'm walking. If I'm sitting down or laying down, I can't wear this. Oh, guys, it's moving. <laughs> um, I can't wear this. I'm not allowed to. It's only when I'm walking. Okay, and obviously I'm about to do that just now. So I thought, wait, hold on, I forgot to show TK Squad. So this is the perfect time to show you guys how I put it on and then I go for my walk. Oh yes, guys, Rainbow is here, thriving in his natural habitat. <laughs> Let's do this again. 
You guys, I love this because it gives me a um, it gives my back support as well. I'm struggling. So it doesn't tie all the way simply because my belly is going to grow bigger and it will grow to my size. I'll be able to switch it out. But yeah, you guys, so this is the belt. It gives me back support as well. Oh, that's how it looks in the front. And then this side. Okay. My top is small. But I'm gonna put on um, a hoodie and then they'll cover everything. So I'm not allowed also to put it on my bare skin. It has to be on top of um, something. So yeah, you guys. And that's it. This is really, really good. Honestly, it has helped me a lot when it comes to um, my pelvic pain. So yeah, okay guys, bye. Back to resume, resume to the normal program. <laughs> you guys keep on asking, when is the due date? When is the due date? The due date is already displayed and some of you, I'm sure you've seen it already, but those that have not seen it, I'm not gonna reveal where it is, but it's somewhere. We've put it out there already. You just need to, <laughs> you just need to find it. I'm sorry. I know most of you are gonna be like, what the hell, what the hell, just say it. But you'll find it. The people that end up going there will end up finding the due date. Yeah. Love you.